first thing you need to get is a thick piece of scrap wood. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, template made from a protractor uh, file that you can find on the web and uh, scale to whatever size you want. Uh, this one here is the uh, small one. And what I did was that I went out and bought some wooden golf pegs. I think it's $3 for a bag of these. And this is what we're going to put around the 13 points uh, around the protractor. It's not real hard to do, uh, but you want to drill holes all the way through. So have another piece of wood underneath it to catch your bit and try to be careful when you drill so they are straight. So here you see a large ring plus a smaller one. And for this coil, we're going to use the smaller diameter. It's approximately about four inches, I believe. And we have our spool of, uh, this has to be 23 gauge wire, and I suggest you put a bolt through there so it just doesn't move when you're winding. This is extremely easy to wind. Any mistakes are going to show up right, uh, and this is after I've wound uh, 21 windings. And now you're going to take each golf uh, tee out of its position, and you're going to bundle that point with a tie uh, wrap. Here's the where we're seeing the things removed, and here's the first tie wrap we put on there. Pull that real tight. That will bundle down those windings. Here we see all the points binded down and it's looking like a star and uh, these have now been trimmed out and I would suggest that you also use four ties in the center to pull the winding very compressed. This is a very easy uh, road to wind and on my next video, I'm going to show you a computer monitor or a video monitor and make it into a magnetic field analyzer. Here I'm just doing a very uh, thing here, uh, and we're running 18 volts into this just one winding of 21 turns on this coil. Now, is the coil better or equal to a regular road coil? We'll know until we test one against the standard. And that'll be part of the next uh, uh, video. So, uh, are these can be used for anything or used for anything in the past? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, could be. Uh, goodbye until next time. Peace be with you.